Hey homeschool friends, welcome to the final, the final review video for all the sunlight programs we used this past homeschool year. So go see my channel for HBLC, HBLK, as well as Science C videos. But today, today we're focused on Sunlight Science K. And in particular, that follows ecosystems, meteorology, physics, and engineering design. You guys, I love sunlight science. I especially love sunlight science for these early elementary years and kindergarten is just, this is perfect because it's literature based, it's book based, it's really delight based and I just love that. I love that about utilizing the sunlight science. I did make a playlist for you guys. I can link the playlist above. It includes all of our update videos. So this is kind of like the month to month, how we were liking these programs, what were the books like, what are my kind of takes on that as well as I do have like day in the life videos, I have flip throughs, I have how much reading in a day type videos, it's all up there. So if you are really researching the program, please check those out because I have lots of thoughts and I really can't include them all in today's video, but I will include some highlights, I'll include some of our favorites and I can't wait to chat with you about Sunlight Science K. It's just been such a fun year. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. So like I said, we are talking about Sunlight Science K today, the kindergarten science program through Sunlight and it's fantastic. But before I get too far, I do need to say a quick thanks to Sunlight for sending some of these materials. We had some of them, but I didn't have like the experiment kit or the videos. So I always appreciate whatever Sunlight is able to send my way in exchange for my honest opinion and review, which is really what we're covering in today's video. And so the first thing is age range for this is it is the same as the HBLK, which I'll put my review video up for that program. But the age range is geared towards five to seven year olds or kindergarten to second grade. And my kiddos were five and a half when the fall started and then they turned six kind of halfway through the year. And I'd say it was perfect. It was just fine. They loved all these little books. They learned a ton. I don't feel like I was holding them to understanding it completely or being able to really answer all the questions, but they engaged with what they found interesting and they didn't engage with what they didn't find interesting, but that's totally fine. And that's my expectation for these years. So let me just first start with the books because it's a lit based program, has amazing books. And like I've said in multiple videos, I really appreciate the literature approach, especially in these elementary years. I actually made a whole video on my love of sunlight science for these elementary years. I will link it above, but I really feel that way about kindergarten because I hold my content-based subjects like history and science very loose during these years. What we get out of it is what we get out of it, but there's a lot of good here. And so I want to highlight some of my favorite things. First being these books. These are probably my favorite and my kids' favorites because they actually both put these on their lists of favorites, which I'll get to in just a second. But these are the hardback Usborne books and they're perfect, perfect for this age. Like for instance, here's this ant one. It just has a little bit of information per page and just kind of some cute stuff and it is at the right level. It's at the right level for kindergarten and then we're able to also cover bees and reptiles and the rainforest and weather and dance. And so these were probably my favorite resource. I felt like just doing a unit following all of these books would have been appropriate for kindergarten, but I do have other things, which is wonderful. I'd say the other highlight for me, and I mentioned this in my Science C review video, is the next generation science standards. I'm a big science standard girl. I love science. I have my PhD in science. I believe in the standards. I believe in kind of having a good path for their science education. And I love that Sunlight has been adapting these standards into their programs because it really brings a lot of things like critical thinking, engineering and problem solving and different things like that. Even at these young ages, especially during the experiment section of this program, which I'll get to in a second, but it brings all of that critical thinking. I just think that is really good to start at even these young ages to start having them think through some of these things. So I loved that. But not only did we have kind of more encyclopedia ones. So this was probably what I would call the most encyclopedia type resource, but we love these DK find out books that we get them from the library all the time. 
And it just kind of gives a little bit of information at a time to talk about it at these levels. And then we deep dived into a couple different things. Like we deep dived into hurricanes. That was delightful. They really liked that. We watched a lot of different videos on hurricanes during that section. And that's another thing to mention before I get into the books. I love that the sunlight science has kind of three major sections as well as kind of overall engineering mindset. And so by the time we get tired of one section, we're moving on to another. And that's really nice. Like there's a section on kind of like the plants. And so we got to do from seed to plant and they really liked this. And we got to grow some plants. It didn't always work. One of them was over Christmas and that just growing a bead plant over Christmas just wasn't a priority. So we didn't do that very well, but you could have. And then we did this like forces book as well as elephants. So they didn't really like this one because it was more about like the sun and information about the sun. And, and so those were great. And there was one book that we really liked because I love that throughout all the science programs we've used from sunlight, there's always kind of a person highlighted. A lot of times it's a scientist in this level though, it wasn't a scientist. It was this woman who planted trees, I think in Ethiopia, and she pushed back against the government and tried to empower women. And it was just a beautiful story. And I mean, it was a quick little picture book, so it wasn't anything like crazy or anything, but my kids really liked it. And they got to talk about big things like taking care of our planet and our responsibility in that. And so we are able to have these little discussions along the way as they're being exposed probably for the first time to a lot of these things that we're gonna circle back to, which I love. And even though there's not like necessarily discussion questions, we are able to discuss things through the activity sheets. And so I didn't bring any with me because we used them all, but the kindergarten science activity sheets are very simple. There's a lot of like fill in the blank. Some of them are like cut out and paste on there. They're really big font, really colorful. And it's nice to be able to just kind of chat through. I held those very loosely. Sometimes they had no idea. Other times they were totally fine answering the questions, but it was really fun to pose the questions to them, to like interact the, with the material with my six-year-olds to see kind of what they got from like this book or something else, to see what they learned about the sun, to see what they learned. And I just, I really appreciate that. So the activity sheets were perfect for that. We do them together. I do not hand the pencil to them. We chat through them together and usually I just kind of make a check mark on them. Be like, okay, we got that one, you know? And so it's very casual in how we do things. And then probably their favorite part, aside from the books, was the experiments, especially the experiment videos. And so we used the videos through sunlight. So I think these are great. I wish they had them for every level, but I understand that it takes a lot of work to film these videos. It's basically the science guy, which is what my kids called him. And he was doing the actual experiment. And so it was really nice because he would lead them through the explanation of it. And then he would do part of it. And then we'd pause it and we'd go do that part of the experiment. Then we'd go back to the video, but also it gave us the option that if we couldn't do the experiment, we could just watch the video. We could watch the science guy do the experiment. And sometimes that worked. They were always disappointed when we didn't do it, but sometimes I just couldn't, we didn't have the time, whatever it was. We still had that option and it was really cool. And it just made the experiments really come to life for them, especially at this kindergarten level where the experiments just really expose them to science. And I love that. And so a big thumbs up for the videos, like a big thumbs up. I highly, highly recommend the science experiment videos, hands down. If you hear nothing else from this video, that's probably my favorite part of the program. And they engaged with and learned a lot from that as well. Now, I did want to mention a couple of our favorite experiments that were just so much fun, you guys, that my kids talked about forever. The first was making a cloud in a jar. So this is when we were studying kind of weather and hurricanes. And it was so fun to see it actually work. I think I might have a video. I'll put some clips in of it actually working. They were so excited. Another one that was really fun was the chocolate one. Actually, I think the chocolate one is a free download if you wanted to try Sunlight Science. So this was the one where they got to try real chocolate, like Baker's chocolate with no sugar, and it was not good. And then we got to make like chocolate mug cakes. It was really fun. So they really loved that one. Another one that they have memories of is the one where we're talking about like the rainforest and the canopy of the rainforest and how much light filters down. So there was like these really cool like light activating paper that we were put in kind of, we made ourselves a canopy and we put the paper up and down. You could see how much light hit each level. And so that really kind of helped them understand 
that idea of the canopy in the rainforest. So that was really pretty cool. And so the experiments were wonderful. I feel like we weren't able to do all of them. Like I mentioned in a couple of my other review videos, the spring was hard. So we did a really good job the first semester of like getting all the experiments done. We loved it. Second semester, we kind of fell off. I didn't even watch the videos with them, but that's okay because it just, it is what it is. We just enjoyed what we were able to enjoy. And I do feel like they learned quite a bit from the experiments. And so I think that's about it for this program. I know this hasn't been a very long video, but it's a really straightforward program. It's a really wonderful exposure, kind of the first exposure to a lot of these wonderful science concepts and topics. And so I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't have wanted anything different. We really interacted with it exactly how we needed to interact with it. And they learned a lot and they loved it. It was one of their favorite subjects. And they always looked forward to our science Saturdays when we did our experiments. And so yes, it was a huge hit for us. I hope this was helpful. Hope seeing kind of some of the resources, hearing some of our favorites. I hope that was helpful for you because it's a wonderful program for kindergartners. It's really spot on for their level and just how they love science. So let me know down below any questions you might have. Also, I always do have that affiliate link that you can find down below that just gets you $10 off your first order, which is fantastic. But otherwise, you guys, I hope you're doing well and I will see you in the next homeschool video. So yeah, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you next time. All right, take care.